Hello everybody. Um, this is another computer networking tutorial, tutorial 4, about wireless routers. Today's focus will be on what's uh, the SSID by Farman. Are you all ready? Let's crack on. In the previous tutorials, we discussed the wireless routers and the role of wireless routers. Um, let's just remind you what wireless routers does. A wireless router in the network, uh, in the business or home environment, um, routes the signals wirelessly to the nodes in the network. Um, what's the nodes? The nodes is a computer or a device that depends on a wireless router for internet connection. So basically for all the communications between you and any other party via internet if you have a wireless router in your home or office or work environment you will be using a wireless router so basically wireless router depends on the internet in order to run um, but wireless router when the internet enters into your house or an office um, requires a modem to translate its language to a com to to a language that the devices on the network can understand, including the router. So we discussed um, modems before. We said in the previous tutorials, modem is actually a device that takes the internet language, the the data from the internet, which is in a format in a language and translate it to a different language we will be going into detail with this anyway in the future into a different language that other nodes on a, com on a network can understand including the router because these poor guys here will not be able to understand the internet directly if you connect if you find a way to hook up your computer directly to the cable that comes into your house for example your your broadband before the modem I am pretty sure your computer would know nothing about it, would know nothing what's going on with that cable and that signal coming in. But your modem has a duty to translate it anyway. And after the modem, your router or your computers, if they're directly connected to the modem or via the wireless router or wired router, they will be able to understand the language of the internet without problem. So now we remembered what's modem, what's router. Okay. Uh, if you still have a doubt, please go back to the previous tutorials and understand the role of wireless routers and modem in an, in the network. Okay, uh, let's let's focus on a society and um, define it what it is. We've got a picture for you here. Hopefully, that will tell you because I'm pretty sure you've seen similar picture on your computer before. Um, the SSID actually stands for Service Sets Identifier. Um, well could be another name for it which is a network name uh, if you have a wireless router at home or your neighbors has wireless routers at home once you log onto your computer and try to connect to a, to a wireless router to connect to the internet you actually see the list of the names appear including your router's name if you have one at home then you try to connect to one of them you select the ones you want to connect to and that's the the name you select is the SSID. Okay, have a look at the second picture. Uh, it tells you the what's the SSID here, and which this computer is connected to, and ignore the rest. This could be still your router at home, or could be your neighbour. Especially that one. I don't believe this is your your router. This must be your neighbours or further neighbours away. Okay, if you're working in an office environment, that would be the furthest router from you. And the best one to connect to if allows you to and authorized you to is this one because it has better strength of signal okay um, i have used the references um, two references two very important references here please go to them uh, read them see what they are and if you have any questions um, leave them in a comment area for me i will be happily answer them for you don't disappear we will be going to um, have a look on my router, my personal router at home. Have a look at the SSID which is set up already. There is a funny name I've set up for it. Please don't laugh at it. Um, I've got reason for that. I'll be telling you why if I show it off. Okay, let's go back to my. Let's come back of here. 
minimize this okay this is my Belkin router interface uh, as um, as usual I've used the address for it 192.168.2.1 to connect to it and in order to go into my router I have to log on I'm going to tell you what my password is yeah okay did you hear what I'm saying okay I'm pretty sure you did now you know my password which is very good okay um, let's go to have a look at the channels on SSID in the wireless area I have to still go back to the passwords okay which I'm certainly not going to tell you what it is okay have a look at this area guys this is very important by default it would give the name of a route or something very silly which your, your neighbors will easily understand what kind of router you have at home and it would be more vulnerable to, uh, to be attacked um, but if you change the name the way I did for example something like your surname, your name, your dog's name, your cat's name whatever you, you fancy just something that you could remember this is your, your, the, your wireless router you can change it to, I change it for this police network because if my if I have a dodgy neighbor and trying to hook up to my network and if you know this is a police network or we think this is a police network they would doubt it because they may scare off you know it may scare off somebody you know not everybody there are people who are you know crazy and dangerous enough to not even scare police I'm not a police I just set it up as you know the name is it's a police network actually it's not a police network I just named it police network for fun and also to scare off um, hackers um, somebody who tried to like my numbers bad neighbors I haven't got bad neighbors it's just in case just in case okay I called it please network okay please network very useful and very good okay um, this the name of this is my SSID okay if I go here I'm sure you could see it properly sorry this is my network police network I am connected to a police network here you go and it's full strength signal strength if you read the message I cannot put the arrow on it let's go back and go back to it it says police network signal strength excellent security type WPA2 ah have a look again please WPA2-PSK okay radio type let's go back on it radio type 802.11G have we talked about it before? Yes, we did. GNN. Mine one is G, no N yet. Okay. The SSID name is actually Police Network. Let's talk about the uh, WPA2. What's the WPA2, which this network is actually um, broadcasting its signals by? Um, it shorts for Wi Fi Protected Access 2. Um, the follow on security methods to WPA uh, for wireless networks that provide stronger data protection and network access control. WPA before was quite vulnerable. I used to test it and I could easily get the password of the router for it, but now for that WPA2 is almost impossible. Okay, so. Um, um, if you haven't set up your networks um, w for WPA2 please make sure if it has it set it up for WPA2 it's much stronger much better than WPA okay in the wireless channels I've set it up to um, you know um, automatic the current channels I've got it here is 6 so I am setting up a network and I name it which I use the SSID for it okay a lot of people can connect to my network okay and let me have a look how, how long time I got left for this video I've, I've already used nine minutes okay I'll be able a quick very quick uh, six people are hooked up to this network because I authorized them to I set up a password and they could use that password to go into my network if not they will be rejected the, the router will kick them out okay the broadcast but I have broadcast the SSID you could also untick it or tick it the, the reason for this is actually not being seen by others unless you want to type it in our on your device and go into it
in fact I haven't got a problem with that because if some if there are hackers out there they could easily find out if I got if there is a network called police network or not okay uh, if you are not experiencing heavy traffic around you uh, wireless networks um, you could set it off um, the, the protected mode off but this is you know it's not necessarily quite important just set it off all the time the bit bandwidth type is 20 megahertz to um, um, to to 40 and auto automatically plays around with it um, yeah that's all about please network SSID my network I am pretty sure you could do it yours one I could change this name for any here uh, it's not that difficult very easy um, I will be in the future going through the pass password resets and password uh, setup for, for your router as well which help you um, you to understand how secure your network could be change the name for some name you can remember for some name it's not default name please okay on your router not default name a name you want to thank you very much for watching um, I see you in the next tutorial go through the references and hopefully you've understood SSID on a wireless networks bye thanks